Hello. I decided to make a new playlist about Telegram bot programming with Python and iGram library. I think this will be a few parts dedicated to the various functions of the Telegram bot. In the first video, I will talk about preparing and installing the necessary components. I will also show you how to make a simple Telegram bot. Okay, please subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Firstly, you need to create a new bot in Telegram. Open the Telegram app, it doesn't matter which device you use now. Then you have to find Bot Father. This service will help you to make your own Telegram bot. Click on the start button. Then I got all commands for this service. To make in your own bot, click on new bot. Then it asks a name for your bot. This is not username, it's only name. You can enter here any text you want. Next you need to enter a username for your bot. This username must be unique and contain bot at the end. Then your bot is created, you have a token, and no further action is required. But you can also to customize your bot here. For example, you can change name, description and profile photo. I want to change the bot photo, to do this click on the correspond command. Select the needed bot here. And then just upload a photo you want. If you want to make a really good bot, I recommend to set the description. Users will see this text when they find your bot. And change the about section. This text can be found in the bot profile details. Okay, bot is created and customized. You need to remember this API token, we will use it for programming the bot. Let's install everything you need to program the bot. We will use Python so you need to download and install it on your PC. To do this, go to the official Python website. All used links in this video can be found in the description. After that I recommend you to install PyCharm. This is a development environment for Python applications. Using PyCharm is convenient to make such types of apps. It is pretty easy to use PyCharm but if you have any problem or you want to know all features of PyCharm please leave a comment about it, I will make a video about PyCharm. Ok, open PyCharm, and let's make a new application here. In this window I set a project name only, we don't need to change this configuration. Then we got a new Python project with a standard code. You don't need this, so just remove it. I open PyCharm and the Telegram app both for convenience. Now let's program the Telegram bot. Firstly we need to import the needed package, AIOgram, and modules, bot, dispatcher, executor, and types. We got an error since I haven't installed the AIOgram package, just install it as shown on the video. So you can install all the needed packages in PyCharm using this method. Then make a new instance for your future bot. Use the bot object for this. In brackets, put your bot token, that you can get from the bot father service. Make also a new dispatcher for this instance. Next make an events handler. I mean, how the bot will react to your messages. Firstly you need to make a command handler. When you start a dialog with the bot it uses the start command. Make this handler for start and help commands. Since this is the event handler, it will be a synchronous function. I name it, welcome. It contains the sent message, as the parameter. In this function I send the welcome message. Use message.reply for this. In brackets enter your welcome message. I use the await here because this is the asynchronous function I want to execute inside commands in sequence. Ok, then I want to make an echo bot, that will send your messages in response. Let's make a similar construction. But this handler doesn't contain any commands. I name this function as echo. Now I use a message.answer command. In this brackets enter, message.text. This is a text of your messages. Ok, I made everything I need for the simplest bot. I need add one more command at the end, executor, dot, start polling, and a dispatcher in brackets. Always keep this line at the end of your code. Save this file, and run this script. You can run it by Shift plus F10, or click on this green arrow. Then go to your bot, and click on the start button. You automatically send the start command, and now you get the welcome message. If you send something in this dialog, the bot will answer you with the same message. Ok, we made the simplest telegram bot that can answer to you messages. 
Now I will show you how to send images using this bot. I'll show you how to grab images from the internet with links, and how to send images from your local drive. To do this let's make one more command handler with a logo command. You will get my YouTube logo if you send this command in the chat. I already showed earlier how to make commands, let's make the same construction. Keep in mind you have to make all commands before the main body of the code. I name this function as logo. Inside this function you need to write a command to send images. Use, message, dot, answer photo. In brackets you have to enter a link to your image. This method can use only links. I use my logo from the GitHub page. Just copy an image link and paste it into this method. Ok let's try to run this bot. If I type slash logo in the chat, bot sends me my logo. It uses the image from the GitHub page. You can take any image from the internet. Then let's talk about how to send photos from your drive. But I think it's better to give a real example. Now I will make a bot that will generate QR codes for your messages. Ok, import the needed package, PyQR code. Install this package with the same way as for AIOgram before. And then I make some changes in the echo function. Remove all inside. Rename this function to QR. In the QR function I create a new variable that equals pyqrcode.create, and in brackets put the text of your messages. This method generates QR codes of your messages. Then with the PNG method I save image of QR code and local drive. It will be a PNG file, and the size of one black point of QR codes will be 5x5 five five pixels. To send images from the drive you need to use another method. I use the await here as well. Enter, bot, dot, send photo. Then you need to fill two parameters in brackets. Chat ID, of course I want to send images in the current chat, so I use the chat ID of the current dialog. And the second parameter is photo. I open the QR code image from the local drive in the read binary mode. Since I use the PNG method, I need to install a PyPNG library. I will do it in the terminal, just enter here, PIP, install, PyPNG. Ok, now the script is ready to use. Run this bot. Let's try to send some message to this bot. As you can see it generates QR codes for my messages, and it sends PNG images from the local drive. This is a simple example of how to use other packages in your own Telegram bots. You can also check this website. This is an official documentation for the AIOgram package. Here you can find all information on how to use this package. I also made this page on GitHub with my lessons on the AIOgram Telegram bot making. It will be updated for new lessons. I think in the next video I will show you how to send all type of media, and how to make more advanced Telegram bots using AIOgram. I hope this video was useful for you. Please leave a comment if you have questions, wishes, claims, or remarks. I'd appreciate it. Thank you for watching.